Hello, everyone. My name is Shai Ashley Thedas, and this is my partner, Carlo. We are from Pehua Secondary School, and today we will be giving a technical presentation on autonomous driving. Here's a brief introduction on us. My name is Yashui, and I've been doing robotics since I was five, and I know many coding languages. Some of my favorites are Swift and EV3. This is my third time participating in RoboCup Autonomous Driving. Uh, I started robotics at the age of nine, and this is my second year competing in RoboCup. Here's an executive summary on our challenge. We faced many challenges when we were in the U19. Okay, so basically some of our key points were speed versus stability. If we do not have stability or speed, then it will become a trouble. We decided that we want to focus on stability first. Because if our robot is not stable, and if we have speed, then it might go off course, and it might not work, and we might end up losing the competition. We had many methods, such as elimination and experimentation. Here is a mind map on our strategy describing our thinking process during the competition. Our strategy can be divided into four parts. Choosing the fastest route, following the rules, trial and error, and line tracing. The first part I would like to talk about is choosing the fastest route. Choosing the fastest route means accuracy, because like I previously said, speed versus stability. So you can't always rely on speed, but it also needs to be stable and accurate. Besides this, you also find the shortest time taken. So if you're not fast, we find the shortest route that works. We also have to find less code written, making it more easier to understand after a while. Because sometimes, you know, it occurs, right? We create a code, and then we come back to it after a couple of weeks, and we end up forgetting how it looks. Then comes the trial and error. We gave our best attempt. So we gave two out of three. Which attempt is the best? And we submit that for our finals. We had many variations to our code. But we always kept a backup copy of our main and original code. And we always have a plan B. So if there's no plan B, you're not going to get anywhere without a backup plan. Then we have line tracing. Line tracing can be split into checkpoints, variables, and RGB. Carla will be giving you a further explanation on how checkpoints and variables are. Here is our challenge mission. This was our finals virtual map. Basically, what our aim was to start from A and finish B. We had many checkpoints along the way. Our goal was to finish all the checkpoints under 1 minute or 1 minute 10 seconds. Now, I'll be passing the time to Carlo. Carlo, please. So, uh, this is the code for uh, black line tracking. Uh, as you can see, uh, at the start, is uh, position and count equals to 0. Speed equals 85 and gain equals 0 0.6. Uh, so, for the first three columns, it's basically assigning every IR sensor a number, and uh, changing position and count uh, respectively. So in the fourth column, if, if count is more than zero, uh, position equals to position divided by count, which finds, basically means it finds the average of the black line. If position is more than zero, means it, the robot thinks that the black line is on the, on the right side of the robot, it will, it will run this formula, else, that means if the, ro the robot thinks that the black line is on the left side of the robot, it will run the formula, but it's opposite. So uh, the, the code can be uh, summarized in this uh, flow chart. Uh, it, it's a, a simplified uh, line tracking code. Uh, as you can see, it, I basically assign every IR sensor from L3 to R3 a number from negative 5 to 5. So after that, I will find the average and use the formula to find the speed for wheel left and wheel right. Uh, this is an example from, uh, I took a screenshot from the computer. Uh, so count is more than zero because uh, more, than, more than one sensor sends black, as you can see on top. So position equals to 1 plus 3 because I R1 and R2 sends black, which is 1 and 3. So divided by 2 because 2 sensors 
two, two IR sensor sends black. So it gives a number of two. So position is more than zero. So wheel speed equals to 85. And wheel ride speed equals to that formula, which equals to 64.6, six, which you can see down there is 65, which is working. Uh, so this is the thinking process of my uh, the map. So as you can see, this is the map from uh, virtual finals. There's the start finish from A to B. There is six checkpoints. Uh, the route I take for from the first to the second checkpoint is this because it's the shortest distance. And to the third checkpoint, fourth, uh, fifth, and to the sixth checkpoint, and to the end. So basically, uh, this is the end of our presentation, and we would like to end off with a quote by Henry Ford. The quote is, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is success. So based on today's uh, challenges, we work together as a team in order to make our dreams come true by winning and persevering through our competition. Thank you. All right, once again, that was Yasri and Tang Kak Lo from uh, Team Pei Hua from Pei Hua Secondary School.